Hey YouTubers, what is going on? It is Susan back with another Housewives review with Mom. Say hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. We, <laughs> we are reviewing the season finale of New Jersey. But before we do that, let me just say my channel, I'm kind of tweaking it around a little bit. I'm playing with it to see uh, what you guys like the most. I'm still doing movie reviews by myself. I'm gonna be doing Housewives reviews with Mom. And then also I'm gonna be doing uh, some videos with my best friend Kim, so be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, this video is all about the season finale of New Jersey. This is the one we have been waiting for. This whole entire season has been so uh, like frustrating, climactic, yeah. like irritating, everything, every emotion. Let me just say, this season of Jersey, Jersey is back. What do you say? Oh, yeah. The yeah. past couple of seasons has been kind of a snooze fest, and I'm personally glad that Siggy is gone. Okay. I, I didn't think she brought anything to the franchise of no. Jersey. No, not good. Soggy. 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 Soggy flicker. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of that, Margaret. Margaret really stepped it up this Love season her. because Siggy was gone. I felt that she brought more to the group. The group kind of, she really revealed like who she really is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And she wasn't like, it wasn't this whole obsessed Margaret Siggy storyline. Right. Um, and I like how, I like how Dolores was connecting with Margaret. They formed like a bond, mm -hmm. a friendship. Mm -hmm. So I, I enjoyed that. Now this season was pretty much, Margaret was at the center of it. Right. You know, like yeah. with conflicts and everything else, but she really stuck up for herself. Mm-hmm. There were numerous times when we were watching throughout the season that I stood up and gave an applause. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah. I know you applause from your chair, from your chair. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She was just really, really good. Melissa, Melissa had a great season. She stood up for herself with Teresa. She stood up for herself with Dolores because Dolores was kind of acting a little bit mm -hmm. ridiculous, butting her nose into things that were not her business. Melissa um, tries to be Switzerland. I, I love her. She, yeah. She she winds up in the middle of anything whether she deserves it or not. Right. She can't win. No, she can't. You know what I mean? Because with Teresa Judice as your sister-in-law. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> I mean, She's she, a nutcase this year. She is. I don't know why she's sipping the Staub Kool-Aid. I really don't. I don't know why she is so, like... Team Danielle, it's disgusting. Like she's, it's like, don't you see Danielle is causing a rift in this group of friends, and she is totally like causing everyone to fight. Mm -hmm. Doesn't she see that? Like, why does she not see that? I mean, I, I wish Teresa would watch the show so she could see it. Well, you know, Andy Cohen's gonna point it out at the reunion. I can't wait. I can't, I, wait. I can't either. I can't and wait. We will be talking about it uh -huh. when they do. <laughs> oh, definitely. That's going to be cool. Three-parter. It's going to be a three-parter. It has to be. Tons of fireworks mm -hmm. are going to be going off. But mm -hmm. let's get into what this is about. This Cats, stop. My cats are fighting. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> um, so the finale. The finale. Now, every, the first like half hour, people were trying to talk to Teresa about Danielle and trying to get her... To see that Danielle is a problem, you know, and that's never going to change. Right. Yeah. Like whenever she's around, fights happen. It's just, it's ridiculous. She is such a swizzle stick. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. Yeah. She's really, really, I personally, and I've said this to you many times, there's no redeeming qualities about Danielle Staub. No. None. And like, why they couldn't see it at the wedding, the pre-wedding bullshit that happened. Oh, my God. The way she treated her bridesmaids. I mean, don't you think it's a little odd that the person who flipped the table on you 10 years ago is your matron of honor? That's bizarre. Like, what? When in what sane world does that happen? None. That's bizarre. Okay, like, if this was the real world, that would never, ever, ever happen. Mm -hmm. Like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she's crazy. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. But it's because she doesn't have, like, any friends. Because the way she treats them, obviously, she treated Margaret like crap and Melissa. I would have left. I mean, the only one that she's, like, all about is Teresa. Because that's the only one that she has to hang on to. Mm -hmm. So she's, like, up her butthole. Sorry. But she is. Well, at... Uh 
at that party, what, Jennifer's party. Right. I loved it when her husband went in the pool. Well, yeah. I mean. I loved it. However, I don't like how Margaret got in there. I wish Margaret didn't do the hands-on throwing him in the pool. Yeah. Because it's like her and her husband did it together. Right. I feel, I wanted her to just not do that so she can look like the bigger person. But now that she did that, it's like, Margaret, you're involved with pushing someone into a pool. You know what I mean? Yeah, but he so deserved it. Well, yeah, he obviously deserved it because what guy talks about another woman like that right it doesn't matter who she's married to like you don't talk about a woman like that spouses or kids off limits spouses kids parents yeah they're off limits like you talk about yourselves and that's it like don't bring anyone else into it it's just garbage Mm -hmm. yeah but yeah i mean i think everyone like got their you know their just deal with everything but i just i kind of wish the finale was a little bit more Mm -hmm. like it was almost anti-climatic. Hands on. You know yeah. what I mean? Because, yeah, there was the pushing in the pool. I would rather have it been Danielle going in the pool, <laughs> you know, um, or them together. But you know, you know what? That, that party, that cost them so much money to do what they did. And oh, yeah. I, granted, I the one time I do feel bad for Jennifer because that, that whole thing just ruined the whole party. And everybody left after that, and I would be so pissed. But you invite Danielle, what do you expect? Seriously. And you know what? Jennifer was probably taking a dump in one of her 16 bathrooms. <laughs> at the time when it True. happened. So True. let's be honest, she it didn't affect her one bit. So that is our wrap-up of our Jersey review. I personally enjoyed it. I, I yeah. wished at the very end it was a little bit more climactic than with pool. something than yeah. just pushing him into the pool. But it is what it is. It was a really good season. It had me up in my chair more mm-hmm. than once. Oh, I, was, yeah. I was giving Margaret a standing O like every mm-hmm. week. Okay, so... I love her on the show. Andy Cohen, keep her on. Do not get rid of her. For fantastic. Do not. Get rid of Danielle. I can't <laughs> wait for the um, reunion. Reunion is going to be good. Which fireworks. Is fireworks. Yeah. Like, we got to shake some sense into Teresa mm-hmm. because she's just, she's crazy with this Danielle mm-hmm. bullshit. All right. So, that is it. Uh, tonight, it is Sunday. We will be watching Atlanta. ATL. ATL Nini Leaks. All right. So, we will see you then. Bye. Bye.